Hi. Can I just fangirl for just, just one moment? I promise. Won't take too long, you know. Ah! <laughs> Doctor Who on the front of Entertainment Weekly. This is a big moment in the Whovian fandom, I feel, because, because it's an American magazine that's pretty much only sold in America with the number one longest running British TV show ever with a cult following, as it says on the front, in America. Just Matt Smith's face in America. And yes, I know that we now have BBC America and they filmed in New York and no oh God. But still, I cannot watch Doctor Who episodes on the BBC website like you can in England. Like, I have a friend and she says, my ancestors fought for the British in the Revolutionary War. I should be able to watch BBC online. But no, we can't. Also, also, we have to go to extreme means in order to find websites and, and not websites, magazines with Doctor Who. But no, this is here. And it is glorious. And it's quite a long spread. In case you can see, there's a TARDIS. There's a TARDIS. It's great. It's so fantastic. You should really check it out. And if you're not in America, then I'm sorry, but try and find it because it's awesome. And it says, how a British sci-fi series became a global geek obsession inside the cult of Doctor Who. Whenever I introduce one of my friends to Doctor Who, I always say that it's a conversion. So if I'm convert converting their faith, yes. <laughs> because it is very much a cult. And um, I enjoy it thoroughly. And if you have not checked out Doctor Who, you really must, because now is a really exciting time to check it out, especially if you're American. Like, I love England, you know, love everybody from there, etc. But it's so much easier to love Doctor Who when everybody knows what you're talking about. But in America, it's like brand new. It's like, like in the 50s or 60s or whatever it first came out. And people are just discovering this and its epic awesomeness. So, yeah, check out Doctor Who. I, myself, being a Smith fan, this is Matt Smith, by the way, look at the bow tie, look at the face, <laughs> I would recommend starting with the fifth season, his first season, or if you really like starting from the beginning, or with David Tennant, as many other people recommend, then start with David Tennant's season. Skip Eccleston. Like, nobody likes Eccleston. He only had one season. But no, that's what he signed up for still. Okay, yeah. Fangirl moment over. <laughs> I'm going to go read this now. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, it's cool. Bow ties are cool.